So the, the population that will develop a mental health concern or a mental illness yeah. usually have their first diagnosis or first consultation toward diagnosis yeah. somewhere between their teens yeah. and their late 20s. Our young people, our youth, that's where we're making huge amounts of life decisions yeah. in a very short space of time. Yeah. So we're often making our choices with school, whether we're going to go to university or we're going to go to work, or yeah. whether we're, we're trying to find a job, we're getting yeah. car loans, we're probably some of us having our first intense relationship yeah. where we might be, you know, thinking that this person is our forever person. Yeah, exactly. Um, some of us are experiencing for our first time our first sexual encounters yep. we might be struggling with our identity you know we're struggling with our yeah. identity but we're then struggling with our sexual identity yeah. we might be buying houses yeah. we might be traveling overseas experiencing our first losses with regards to yeah. losing family members death those sorts of yeah. things and i think as i suppose which like you can look at it one of two ways as well in that either way because i don't see it as being a lot harder but it can be looked at as it's a lot harder for young people nowadays than what it was even 20 years ago to like buy houses get loans qualify for these sort of things and then they're like you have to be overqualified for underpaying jobs and so everyone wants a job everyone wants you to have experience but no one's willing you to give you the experience and so i feel like there's just this well of a lot of kids that or young adults even that get stuck you know, freaking out and worrying about stuff like that.